Hey guys, today we're making a miniature chihuahua. Hope you'll enjoy. I first made the basic sketch for the dog, then made the armature, and then added some clay to the head. The good thing about making a chihuahua in miniature is that the sculpt is going to be pretty simple. The head is basically just a ball of clay with a small snout and then some protruding eyes. And then for the body, unless you're making one with very short fur, it's very simple and almost like a cat so you don't need to add a lot of details. As always, if you have any questions about the basics for making these animals, please do check out my Saint Bernard tutorial as that one has a lot of the basic information. Also, as for the eyes, they are pre-baked and made the same way as in my Eyeball King tutorial. One thing you do want to focus on is just making the head look pretty skinny. Reason being, especially because it's such a small dog, if you make it the way it's supposed to look when it's done, once you add the fur, which is going to add extra thickness, it's going to look kind of weird. Another thing I do is when I cut out the ears, I make them a tiny bit bigger than what they appear to be. The reason why is because you're going to attach them to the head of the sculpt, and so due to the thickness of the fur, part of the ears are going to be kind of buried. Once I'd made the head, I pre-baked, then post the armature in the position I wanted, added clay to the body, pre-baked again, and added clay to the legs and feet. I also added some liquid clay behind the ears and near the paws, just to strengthen it. Next, I used acrylic paint to paint it in a color that's similar to the fur I wanted it to have. If you're making one with a pattern, it's a good idea to paint this onto the sculpture and then use that as a guideline when attaching the fur. The fur I use for this one is the milk protein fiber, which I'm kind of falling in love with for these smaller animals. And again, if you have any questions about this or where I get it, I do have a basics video about the fur and hair I use. I started out by gluing it onto the butt area as well as the hind legs. Once the glue had set, I trimmed it, then started adding clay to the back and belly, trimmed that, added clay to the neck and so forth. Don't worry too much if it doesn't look like a chihuahua once you've added the fur. For me personally, I think it looks more like a white fox. But that's just until you add the shading, which is going to enhance the features. For the back of the ears, the legs and the paws, I just used flocking powders, which is the same fiber I used for the rest, but I just cut this into really tiny pieces. Finally, you can add the shading. I used soft pastels in the colors I showed in this video, as well as a pink and I applied all of it with a damp brush. And for the nose and just around the eyes, I used black acrylic paint.
finally, I sealed it with a fixed tip which is going to make the eyes look glossy and protect the pastel. As a very last thing, I just made a simple bone. So for this, I flattened some pink clay, then cut out the basic shape and rounded off the edges. Pre-bake, add clay to the back, and you're done.